What's up everybody, it's WestFPV here. Today I have a quick little video on how to edit your splash screen on your Boxer, or basically any uh, transmitter that has a black and white screen that runs Edge TX. And I also wanna show you how you can turn on and off your transmitter a little quicker. So let's hop into it. The first thing you gotta do for the uh, splash screen, uh, open up paint. When you're inside paint, you're gonna wanna resize the canvas. So you go to resize and hit percentage and go over to pixels. Make sure the horizontal is 212 and the vertical is 64. Click OK. I like to click the paint bucket and make the background black. My letter is white because it gives it a good contrast image. I'm going to do something pretty basic here and put my name. That's white. Line it up a little bit. Got a basic one right here. So once you have your design finished, you'll go over to File, Properties, click black and white. OK that now the next thing we have to do is save it so we'll save it then splash splash two or three and then uh, the file type is going to be monochrome bitmap save uh, i'm not going to save that actually because i already have like five of them so the next thing we we are going to have to do is download some software uh, the first thing you should download is the firmware for the controller. So I'll put the link in the description, but here is the HTX GitHub. Once you're here, go over here to releases and click the most recent one. Scroll down, download HTX firmware and play the most recent one right here behind it. Once you have that file, just right click it, extract that into a folder, and then you have all the firmwares for all the controllers. Next thing we got to download is HTX Companion. So uh, go to edgetx.org, scroll down to the bottom, and you'll find EdgeTX Companion and just download the one for your operating system. Once you have that installed, you'll have an application that will do this. Once we are in this application, settings, down the settings, then uh, you'll, for radio type, you'll click the whatever radio you have, that's EdgeTX. Mine's a boxer. Click the boxer. And for the splash screen, you hit select image. Then you go to wherever you saved your be in flash screen image open that so for the sd structure path you're going to want to turn on your transmitter and then plug it in and click the sd mode when it's in the sd mode your computer is going to read it as an sd card and click select folder then you see it pops up as a usb drive f click that select the folder click ok and you're good to go there now you're going to want to unplug your transmitter and turn it off and then uh, we have to get your transmitter into the firmware mode. To do that, you hit the bottom two trim buttons, and then you power it on. And when you power it on, the screen's going to go fuzzy just a little bit. But then you're going to be into the firmware uh, mode. And when you're into that mode, you plug in the uh, cable again. Once you have the cable plugged in, go over here to write firmware. And I've already loaded mine, so that's why it looks like this. But you'll just hit load. And you'll go to where you extracted uh, all the HTX firmware at. Go to that folder, find your transmitter. Mine's the boxer. Then uh, yours is going to say use firmware start screen. Uh, you're going to want to change it to use profile start screen. And then you're going to hit write the TX. Mine might have an error because I don't have my controller plugged in at the current moment. But at, right now it's going to write to your controller. Then it's going to say done. Then you unplug the transmitter and hit exit and menu. Then you should see your new splash screen so the splash screen is done so now i want to show you how you can make your uh, transmitter turn on and off just a little quicker so you'll go to system then you'll page over until you find radio setup and then once you're in radio setup you'll scroll up until you find uh power on delay and power off delay by naturally they're at one second and you want to change this down to zero uh you can turn your splash screen off but we just edited it and you just got a cool one so i keep mine on so it's not going to turn on quicker it could if you didn't have the splash screen but i make it turn off a little quicker so that's how you do that i hope my video helped you guys if it has please like subscribe and comment i'll see you guys in the next video